Whoa! Welcome to Track Tested Motorsports. My name is Jack. And I'm Boris. And Boris, you recently returned from Mid Ohio, which we have a track map here. Um, and you were instructing there. So tell us a little bit about Mid Ohio and why anyone should put this on their track map. So, um, um, you know, this is a track that I'd like to get to at least every other year. It's that much fun. And it's the first track that I went to where not preparing uh, cost me dearly. <laughs> so I really have a lot of respect for this track. Yeah, and I know I, I did this track about 10 years ago, but I only had one session because I blew an O-ring on the side of my engine block and I sprayed oil. So I've never been back <laughs> there. So I definitely want to go uh, again sometime. So why is this such a, a difficult track? It looks so simple. Yeah, so um, it's just very technical um, because you know, on a two-dimensional map, it's hard to see it, but really, the only straightaway really is just this front straightaway. The rest of the time, you're always bending, going up, going down, especially this section here from Madness all the way to the carousel. It, it's very technical. I'll get into more detail why. But but that what makes it, you know, it's, it's a technicality of it that makes it also very um, fun. You know, once you get the turn, yep. you can carry a lot of speed, and it's just one of those yeehaw roll. It's like being on a roller coaster, you know. You're just like yeehaw. So I call it a yeehaw track. You know, name implies where it's located because it's literally middle of Ohio, yep. you know, halfway between Columbus and Cleveland, and the terrain is rolling hills. You know, so it doesn't have the intensity I'll call it of the new Ozark International Raceway, yeah. in the Ozarks, but it has this really it has a really good flow. It's one of those tracks. When you get the rhythm of it, it just flows and everything seems to slow down and it's just a joy to drive. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Now, would you uh, recommend this uh, track to somebody that's starting off doing track events? You know... Because your student I, was, right? Your student Deepak was his yeah, first time on the track. it was his first time, but he was well prepared, especially for the first seven turns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, if you talk to him, you'll find out that, you know... That the because of, after, after the seventh turn, it gets really technical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wishes he had prepared more uh, because he struggled with the, with the remainder of the track. Uh, so it's, it's again, one of those tracks you, you definitely want to prepare for. However, and if you don't, you'll still have fun. Yeah. You know, it, it'll just be a little more work for you to have the fun. Now, where does this uh, line up with your most favorite tracks with Road, Road America be your number one? Maybe Ozarks is number two now for you? Road Atlanta, Laguna Seca? Yeah, they're all so much fun. You name it, how do you know all my favorite tracks? <laughs> I mean, Road America is my favorite because of the history. It's really, you know, the first track I went to, it's where we met, you know, all that kind yeah. of stuff. And this track is fairly um, old. It probably goes back to the 60s Yeah, it's 70s. been around for quite a while. Um, I think at least it goes back to the 60s. Okay. And uh, I would say it's probably my number five. Okay. Um, and it would have been, at one time it was number three, uh, right after Road America and Laguna Seca. But then after I went to Road Atlanta, <laughs> you know, it got pushed to four. And then I just went to Ozarks for the first time this year. And now it's down to five. But that's still high up there because, you know, there's a lot of other awesome tracks like Watkins Glen and the list goes on, VIR, etc. cetera. Um, but, but back to this particular track, you know, it's, it keeps you busy. It's only 2.4 miles, and there's really never any time to relax. The front straightaway is fairly short, yep. and the back one has that kink in it. So, you know, that's probably the only time I really have a chance to take a couple of deep breaths and check the gauges, yeah. is on that back straight. And if it rains, the, this is one of those tracks, if it rains, it becomes extremely challenging. Mm. And, uh, you know, more so than other tracks. And I don't think we have the time to get into it, why? Uh, but, uh, you know, just wanted to mention that if you ever go there and it rains, really slow it down and, and really try to stay offline because it's so slippery online. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Boris and I are going to go through. Actually, Boris, you're going to walk us through a, a, a lap through here. Uh, but with that, my name is Jag. And I'm Boris. And we'll see you again. <laughs>